irreducible complexity, the bacterial flagellum, the ATP synthase molecule, blood clotting cascade, the cilium, the trochlea. Creationists and intelligent design advocates have uncovered biological constructions which they claim are irreducibly complex and thus provide evidence of some sort of supernatural intervention. The structures could not have arisen via natural selection or any other known process of evolution, they claim. Godless, chance-driven, random processes cannot account for these remarkable constructions. Michael Behe, probably the most famous advocate for intelligent design and the argument for irreducible complexity, defines it this way. By irreducibly complex, I mean a single system composed of several well-matched, interacting parts that contribute to the basic function, wherein the removal of any one of the parts causes the system to effectively cease functioning. An irreducibly complex system cannot be produced directly by slight, successive modifications of a precursor system, because any precursor to an irreducibly complex system that is missing a part is by definition non-functional. An irreducibly complex biological system, if there is such a thing, would be a powerful challenge to Darwinian evolution. But is this true? Can there be natural explanations using evolutionary theory alone for these complex structures? In the case of some of the items listed above, the answer is a resounding yes. For others, it may simply be a case of no one having done the necessary research on that particular biological structure yet. However, each time a so-called irreducibly complex structure hailed by creationists and ideas gets explained as reducible by evolutionary processes, the creationist or idea will quickly hunt for a new candidate, and luck will for quite some time be on their side. There is still a lot that biologists don't know, so the odds of a creationist or intelligent design advocate coming across what appears to be an irreducibly complex structure is quite high. This can be aggravating for the non-creationist as it is unreasonable to assume we know everything there is to know evolutionarily about every complex biological structure. But I have an idea that should satisfy everybody. Creationists are by and large evangelical Christians. So are the majority of intelligent design advocates. This group of people have a vast resource of funds to tap by way of donations in order to support scientific research. It seems to me that it is in the creationists and intelligent design advocates best interest to actually find an irreducibly complex biological structure rather than superficially comb the literature and anatomy books for currently unstudied but perplexing biological conundrums. With funds uniquely available to such folks, they could award grants to real scientists to do the research into what is believed to be irreducibly complex biological structures. This way, they can no longer complain that science is avoiding research into these structures, or that there is a conspiracy against such study, or that funds are lacking. If a structure is found not to be irreducibly complex, no harm, no foul. The creationist and intelligent design advocate just scratches that particular structure off their list of candidates. However, it is in their best interest to keep funding such research because surely their faith must inform them that a truly irreducibly complex structure must exist because creationists and ideas already believe in this intelligent designer. If the intelligent designer really does exist, then sooner or later a truly irreducibly complex structure will be uncovered. Such a structure must exist according to their model. It's just a matter of time and money to uncover one. But this idea comes with an added bonus. The discovery of the truly irreducibly complex structure will have come from secular scientists and that research will be, it's inevitable, confirmed by other secular scientists. It will become a prize to whomever discovers it, as well as finally supporting the assertions of intelligent design advocates and creationists the world over. It's a complete win-win situation. So this is another call to put up or shut up. 
creationists, ideers, you can tap into your vast resource of funds and not only afford to build a model of Noah's Ark, but also to fund research into the discovery of truly irreducibly complex structures. Instead of using money to purchase football memorabilia to burn, instead of using the money to purchase megachurches, use it to offer grants to scientifically research your claims regarding creation, design, and irreducibly complex structures. Until you can point to the independent, peer-reviewed scientific study and not merely your own credulity regarding a tested and confirmed irreducibly complex structure, well, we don't want to hear from you. From this day going forward, it is your responsibility to provide evidence that you have combed all the currently available literature on whatever complex biological structure de jour that you have chosen and that no such literature exists to document your given irreducibly complex structure as having been formed from natural biological processes. Furthermore, the burden will be upon you to then provide the peer-reviewed literature that demonstrates the exhaustive research that was done to account for this irreducibly complex structure using known evolutionary processes and the failure of these attempts. And then, the paper needs to demonstrate the design aspect of this irreducibly complex structure. This would include, but is not limited to, how it was designed, how it came to be designed, who was the designer, what the intention or goal of the design was. It is not merely your burden to provide evidence of genuine design, but to document that design by giving details as to the who, what, where, when, why, and how. For young earth creationists, the added burden is to show that these complex structures could not have formed more than 6,000 years ago. Will they do it? Of course they won't, because if they really did start doing the science to support their assertions, they'd run themselves right out of business. It's much easier to cast stones than it is to construct something with them.